Okay, so your chemistry paper 2 exam is on the 20th of June and in this video I'll be telling you exactly what I did to achieve a grade 9. If you don't know me yet, my name's Jaden, a first year dental student studying in university. Your chemistry exam is coming up really soon and I'll be giving you my best advice on what I would do and what I have done in these days leading up to the exam. I don't want to waste your time so there are timestamps in the video so feel free to look over the video and see whatever section suits you most. Also remember to like and subscribe if this has helped you. Be sure to stay until the end of the video as I'll be giving you practice questions which should be quite useful to you so be sure to stick till the end. My first piece of advice is one that I've always said and it's to look over all your topics that you can be tested on for paper two and then write a list of everything you don't know and everything you're weak on. Search up what topics are in your paper two and you should really know this as you do not need to learn all the topics in paper one and just focus on the second half of all your content. So for example in AQA chemistry the test I did included the rate and extent of chemical change, organic chemistry, chemical analysis, chemistry of the atmosphere and using resources. So this can tailor your revision heavily as you only need to focus on these topics. Quickly skim over all your notes and all your past questions on these topics. Try to note down and summarize what you've got wrong and how to not make the same mistake again. If you have time then try to complete as many past papers as you can if you haven't already or you can just watch videos of people answering questions on YouTube and this can really help stimulate your active recall if you try to answer it with them. Answering questions will put you into the right mindset so once you get into the exam you've already done this a million times before so this is no different. Hopefully all your recall practice has added up and you'll use everything you've learned in this exam. You can also use any flashcards you've made to test yourself. Testing yourself is so good because once you test yourself you're trying to remember or trying to actively recall the information that you've learned a little while ago and just this simple act of trying so hard to remember what you've learned is so good for you because it makes you remember things longer for next time. Reading all your content or everything that you've got wrong will put this into your short-term memory so you can just hopefully recall it during the exam and will make your life so much easier just rereading everything a million times over. And in this way, you may be able to remember things which you didn't even know you remembered. My next tip is to learn the practicals in chemistry. Chemistry has so many good practicals that you can be tested on and you will be tested on. Be sure to learn the details and all the explanations and applications of how the practicals can be used. In the exam, there are relatively easier marks to achieve as you just need to recall and regurgitate all this information and it's literally just a memory test. Some people may not like this, but you just have to accept it and try your best to just do well. Learn the practicals. You can either search them up on YouTube and then listen and then write notes on the descriptions of them. Or you can use your textbooks and just learn the general idea, which is what I did. Also in these practicals, there's often a lot of calculations. Maths is super important in chemistry because there's so many different equations and rearranging of formulas that you need to be able to do. Make sure you're sharp and you've practiced maybe mental maths and also using your calculator with things such as changing the subject of formulas, rearranging everything and just units in general. You want to be super sharp on this so you can get those easy marks in exams. If you know you're particularly weak on practicals, then just search up up your exam board, GCC chemistry, and then practical workbook or something like that. And then you'll find a whole bunch of practice questions. And the online resources you can use to help you are things such as physics and math tutor and chem guide. To learn practicals and to learn any chemistry content in general, there are so many good YouTubers which you could watch, which includes science shorts, free science lessons, Allery chemistry, Elliot Rintoul, and Cognito. And those are the ones I would highly recommend and are the ones that have helped me the most during my GCSEs. Remember to keep watching until the end of the video as I'll give you practice questions which you can try this exact thing on. My next tip is super important as well and it's to keep a positive mindset. If you are disappointed with your exam performance so far or even your work ethic there is really no time to worry about that and to focus on that as you have no time and it doesn't do any good for yourself and in an ideal world it would be best to forget everything that happened in the past and just to focus on what will happen in the present and what's coming up next. In this way you'll be more positive and you'll be more mentally ready to tackle any challenges. You have more of an open mind going into the exam and you will feel less stressed as there's nothing holding you back. Try to be cheerful and hopeful as that's all you can really do right now. For example, if you did chemistry paper one and that didn't go too well for you, you may find that if you struggled on paper two, you might have flashbacks to paper one or you might give up easier than normal. You cannot let this happen and you need to be mentally tough. You cannot give up no matter what and you should try all your best to push forward. And I know this makes exams sound really easy and really easy to like forget what's happened in the past and I know this is totally not true as I've done so many exams, but it's so important that you try your hardest to just focus on the presence. If you're the type of person that always thinks back on what has happened and puts you in a bad mood. My next tip would be to make sure you rest well. Take care of yourself mentally and physically and prepare yourself for the days coming up to the exam. Sleep early or sleep on a good time every single day. Have a good diet. 
maintain the regular exercise and make sure to take regular breaks so you try to avoid burnout. Try not to stay up super late trying to revise and procrastinating as it really doesn't help. And it's better to just go to sleep and rest and make sure your mind and body is fully rested so you can achieve your maximum performance. From this, you'll be able to focus and concentrate better, which will only result in you doing better in the exam. So now, as promised, here are a few practice questions which I've gathered from online resources, which I hope will be helpful. Try to answer them in the comments below without looking at your notes. And then if you struggle, then look at your notes and then answer. Then finally, after all of that, check other people's comments, see how you could improve your own answer and maybe give feedback on each other's comments, say what's good about them and say what can be improved. Make sure to give constructive feedback and give each other ideas on what you could say. Hopefully this is a little fun exercise and will help improve your active recall. And hopefully this either stimulates motivation or helps you get into that mindset. I'll put the question on the screen right now. And number one is the question is about combustion of fuels. Some central heating boilers use wood as a fuel, suggest two reasons why wood is more sustainable than natural gas as a fuel for central heating boilers. So pause the video if you need after every question and then write your answer and then unpause it when you're back ready for the next question. Number two is a multiple choice question and it is a nickel catalyst is used in this reaction. Why is a catalyst used in this reaction? To increase the temperature, to produce less carbon monoxide, to reduce costs, to use less energy or to use less methane. And it says tick two boxes, so be sure to read the question as well, as some questions will say tick one box, some will say tick two, and you do not want to miss any marks out. Question number three is Titan is warmer than other moons of Saturn because of the greenhouse effect. How do greenhouse gases trap energy from the sun? All wavelengths of radiation are reflected back to the surface of Titan, long wavelength radiation is reflected back to the surface of Titan, or short wavelength radiation is reflected back to the surface of Titan. So hopefully that was okay. Question four is, ethanol reacts with ethanoic acid to produce an ester. What is the name of the ester produced when ethanol reacts with ethanoic acid? Ethane, ethene, or ethyl ethanoate. And there's a part B to this question, which is ethanoic reacts with sodium carbonate. The equation for the reaction is that. What is the name of the liquid produced by this reaction? So the final question is a two mark question and it is to explain why aluminium window frames do not corrode after they are made. So pause the video again and answer the final question. I hope those questions have helped in some way and I hope you've been able to do them or maybe learnt something new. If this video has helped or done any of that, please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Remember to put all your answers in the comments below and mark each other's and I'll be checking through all of them to see how many people got right. I know this exam period is tough, so well done to everyone that's done Done exams so far and good luck to all the rest. If you have any questions about anything post them down in the comments and I'll try my best to reply to as many as I can. If you have any advice from each other also do that and try to help each other. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. I'll be making another video like this specified towards physics so subscribe if you want to see that as well. Thank you very much once again for watching this whole video and staying to the end. Wishing everyone who sees this the best of luck in everything. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.